Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got a follow-up, a results video based on using a new skincare device called the Droplet for the last 45 days. So I put up a video 45 days ago showing you my first use of this device, demoing it, talking about what the technology is all about and what it costs and why I decided to try it and showing you what it was like and giving you my first impression review on it. So I don't wanna repeat everything here. You can check out that video. I'll link it right up here for you. But to put it in a nutshell, I was really impressed with the scientists that developed this, with the reason that they developed it, which was to find a way to get medicines through the skin without having to rub it for like burn victims or people with these like super difficult skin conditions to treat that being able to spray on skincare would be really helpful with. I had gotten a lot of requests to try this device over the past year since it's come out. So I purchased it. I also signed on for the subscription for the pod. So I paid for everything with my own money. So my total outlay for using this for the 45 days, it was $2.99 for the actual device. And then every time that I got one of my auto shipments, it was $117. So I believe that by the time I canceled it, I had gotten four auto shipments. So we're talking about $400 and $70, something like that, on top of the $300 for this. So it cost close to $1,000. I originally had bought all three of the pods. They have glycolic acid, they have collagen, and they have a retinol. I discovered right away that I couldn't really use the glycolic acid. It is very hard to breathe in when you're using the device it you know there's a lot of mist comes out of this and where you're spraying it around your face or even around your neck which is where i was using it a lot of the mist rises up and you end up breathing it in and this just i had a coughing fit every time couldn't use it and my skin was also very irritated by this so i stopped using the glycolic acid right away and so then my plan was since i was testing a different anti-aging product on my face i decided to do the trial on the droplet just on my neck. And to just use the collagen and the retinol, my plan was to use the collagen in the morning and the retinol at night for the 45 days, and that's what I did. I have to say that after having used it for the full 45 days, I don't like it any better than I did on the initial use. It Every single time I used it, I ended up coughing. There are some ingredients here that I think just don't get along with my skin. And it's not the like active ingredients. I think the retinol in here is fine. I think it's the rose oil that's in every single one of the capsules. No matter whether you get the retinol or the collagen or the glycolic acid, they have a very strong fragrance ingredient that is a rose oil, which is supposed to be calming and soothing for the skin but I tend to be sensitive to some botanical oils. Rose oil is one of the ones that I'm sensitive to, like lavender oil I can't use. Just my skin is too sensitive. I tend to like get hivey and red and it just gives me a bad reaction. So as like one or two viewers pointed out, you know, maybe it wasn't a good trial for me to use this on my neck because my neck is very sensitive. It does react very badly to a lot of things from necklaces to shirt collars to laundry detergents to skincare. But I thought, you know, my neck is almost like the canary in the coal mine. <laughs> if my skin anywhere is gonna be irritated by something, the skin on my neck is gonna be irritated sooner. But I was also hoping that since my neck doesn't keep up with the anti-aging that I've achieved from here up using my prescription retinoid, that this is a place where I have, you know, plenty of wrinkles and plenty of crepey skin to show. And so if this was gonna do anything, it would also show up here better, okay? So, you know, I don't design it so that I can make the product fail. I want every product to be like the next greatest thing that is going to erase our wrinkles because I want it as much as you guys do. And if it was gonna be this, you know, that would be fine with me. So the results that I was hoping to see on my neck, I don't feel like I saw, and I'm not entirely sure if it's just because I ended up having so much of a reaction to the rose oil 
ingredient in these, and I was hoping that the retinol and the delivery system would be gentle since I can't use a retinoid on my neck. I was really hoping that even if it was doing the minimum, which is that it would infuse 50% more water into my skin, that at a minimum, my neck would look more hydrated. Without any further ado, let's take a look at the before and after pictures. Let me just give you my photo disclaimer to start, which is that I take these pictures at home. I don't have a photographer or another person to focus the camera for me. So I use autofocus, which is very hard to get a camera to focus on your neck because it wants to focus on the closest thing, which is generally my chin. I'm going to try to keep the angle of my neck the same. I always keep the lighting consistent. My camera is on a tripod. I ended up taking a lot of phone video in my bathroom to show you what my neck looked like. So let me bring in the phone videos now. I think it will show you kind of my neck before and then my neck not too long after starting in with using the droplet. Here's the before on the droplet. Hey guys, I am six days in on the droplet experiment and oh my God, my neck looks so bad. The neck skin is crepey in ways that I haven't ever seen it before in my life. Like usually if I go like this, I get like these little wrinkles in here, but now I'm getting crepiness going this way and it just looks terrible. <laughs> I mean, this is such a lovely angle. Using it is just making my skin look 10 times worse. I gotta say, I couldn't wait to stop using this. I noticed that my neck was looking worse within two weeks of starting with this. I feel like the texture of my skin, it looked more crepey, it looked more wrinkly on the surface, and also my larger wrinkles looked bigger. This was an absolute fail for me. I don't like the ingredients in the capsules. I don't like the amount of waste. Like, look, this, these are all the empty boxes. The one good thing I can say from the waste standpoint is that you can recycle all of these little guys. They do give you a postage paid label to ship them back to them for recycling. I also feel like when you're actually using the device that it's wasteful. Every time I used it, all I was aware of was the amount of mist escaping into the air. I also had a lot of it dribbled out here. A lot of it, I noticed, collects in the charging cradle. So there is waste of product. And I just felt like these were too expensive to have that much waste. Where I was into this for $120 for a 15 day supply, that's 250 bucks a month. I mean, that's a lot in skincare. Um, so for me, it was too expensive. It was too wasteful. And the big thing, didn't do anything for my skin. I am still not terribly happy with how my neck looks, although you guys know I haven't been happy with how my neck looks in a while, but I'm even less happy with it recently since using the droplet. So the droplet was a no-go for me. I didn't enjoy using it. I can't stand the smell of it. The serums, hate the smell of the serums, just do not agree with me. Not worth the money, not worth the time, not worth the extra effort. I think my skin looked much, much better just using my plain old apply it topically skincare routine than it ever did using this even for a minute. So this, you know, was not a good one for me. So that is my take on the droplet. I'm very happy to be putting this one to bed. So that's it for this video. So I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.